Welcome to the marvelous Mesa of the Pauper Gauntlet. I am playing Watch Rights. Uh, I had a technical hiccup here. It's 1 1. And actually, it's 1 1 because Gold Moon quit in the first match, really, for no reason whatsoever. Uh, so I'm playing against Delver. I have sideboarded. I'm not sure my sideboarding was correct. I brought in three Scattershot Archers and a Spider Silk Armor and took out. Uh, Civic Wayfinders and Borderland Rangers because I felt they were too slow and dirty. So this is the final match. Sorry for making you miss one match. Keep this. Essence Warden is super strong against him. And I actually got an Essence Warden out in the first match. In the first duel, so maybe he quit because of that. But I'm not sure. But Essence Warden will help a lot here. I only have one mountain, so... Maybe sideboarding out the Civic Wayfinders and the Bull and was really bad. I have four Abundant Growths. But I don't have a sideboard plan, so I had to improvise. Let's beat this Delver deck. Let's beat it down! Okay, without... Oh, I have Sylvan Rangers too. So I shall be able to find my mana. I will be able. I believe. That's a good one, but... Definitely going for... The Visionary here. Draw the card, bake the cake, yield to Essence Warden. And we now have two power on the board! Yeah! Doing it! Okay, is it more important to convoke the Sprout Swarm next turn than to cast Abundant Growth? We need more bodies if we're gonna get the Watch Rate kill. He could just spell stutter it. Then again, he could spell stutter abundant growth. But he isn't doing much of anything, so I think I'll just sprout swarm. But I know he plays days. So I immediately chase my change my plan. And go for Essence Warden to Abundant Growth. Starting with the Abundant Growth. And then I have to start to count next turn because I could be lethal. I need to sack six cards if I have three creatures. That's a bit too much. Warden or Nest Invader? I th oh, uh, Nest Invader is so good. But then I could actually kill next turn. But it seems to be the wrong order of things, doesn't it? But I think I have to go for the early kill. If he dazes me here, he's set back so much anyway. And now I just need to discard four cards. And that's exactly what I will have. So if he taps out... Wow. Oh, I don't have any mana. Oh, I could sacrifice this guy. And pay one. Then I have to sacrifice two permanents, but I could sacrifice... Land. Land. 
Not sure if that was correct. Do I have the kill now? Tree is 15, he has at seven he's at 17. So I don't. I'll just hit him for four. Play the essence warden. Frostburn weird. Can now do 12 damage and kill the Frostburn weird, but I can't do it into open mana. But if he pumps the Frostburn weird, he can't counter me. So let's. Let's try that. Uh, I don't kill him. I do 12. But I should be able to do one the turn afterwards. Shouldn't I? So I swing. Hoping that he blocks the nest invader and pumps. He does block the nest invader. But he doesn't pump. He does pump. So here we go. That's really bad, isn't it? Do we still do it? It's not even close now, is it? We just lose everything we have. And accomplish very little. We do 8 damage. He's at 5. He will have no problems getting back from that. So that was all for naught. And we will have to try to rebuild. Well, I feel entirely outclassed by Delver. And this is exactly the reason I feared this deck last year. Because I feel just helpless playing it. It feels so weak. But I've seen other people play it really well. Okay, we're gonna sprout swarm them until we get counter spell, which should be immediately. Until we can build enough of force to do something useful. That's interesting because it does set up things up. But we are in no danger, so... Counterspell seems pretty good against this. Exclude even. But that can't counter the Sprout Swarm.
He can't counter anything with spell status sprite. We can counter right. And time is not our friend here. Eight, nine, we can't do two. Oh, we'll just keep going. We have plenty of time. Steady, steady. And here is the Sprout Swarm. And we are one mana short of being able to play twice. Double spell stutter. That's interesting because now I can actually keep watch if he does that. And he can only kill one of my attackers. I think it's worth it. Yes, I am definitely doing it. So, swing. Oh my god, I have to play the red mana. I thought I was unable to cast rights this turn, but then I draw them out. Oh my god. And I would have won. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, that was also what I feared with this deck. Okay, Kalnigaren. Nest Invader. Three cards left. <laughs> okay, no more games for me today. I have pushed a bit to get in more games, but yeah, that's it. I have 11 decks left to play, I think. And that's not going to happen today. I think I won a turf game, so I don't have to do the biking today, but there are other stuff I need to do. And I'm so beat up from all the cycling. Not magic cycling, but biking. Mountain biking even. Ah. You can't really make the small mistakes with this deck, it's very unforgiving. But it's a loss.
Delver 1 to 2. Okay, let's try to salvage this somehow. Though I don't really know how. Play a lot of guys. more guys yes get the blue land And after what I've done here, I think I just have to go for it. Because this is actually lethal. There's one card left. If it is a couch spell, he wins. Uh, now I don't win. I do, no, I don't. Three. No, I have three O ones. So I don't win. So there is no hope. Maybe next turn. Okay, now I'm going to go for it. Because time is not helping me. There's nothing in my graveyard I missed. Mm, interesting, it played out exactly like I expected. I probably should have worked on my expectations. Two cards. He has not cast a counter spell yet. And he doesn't cycle the Cloud of Fairies here. Interesting. Double rights. But I have to discard them. I don't have to discard them as the casting cost. Is it at when it resolves? So getting. But it needs to be three cards. Wow, okay. Let's think about this. I attack. I'm getting through with zero power, but four creatures. If I discard two, it's not enough. I need to discard three. So what if I play Rites of Initiation now? And see if it resolves. If it does, I'll just discard everything. I 
and then I figured I could play the mount and try to do something, but of course there's there was probably no use doing it pre-combat. Gross filth de puta, that's probably not good. Somebody translate what this guy who quit the first match said. <laughs> I don't think he's pleased, is he? And Watch Right wins! Awesome! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. He is not happy. See if he writes something else. Is he doing this just for fun? I don't think he is playing correctly. Okay. Uh, in the just for fun room, we played against Delver and we did win. I think. Despite all, despite, despite all the misplays, I think I have to post this to Magic Gathering Strat, just because it was quite intense. Sorry for the first two duels. He's probably timing out, I'll pause until then. There is actually one more match today. I will play the third round of the league in six hours and I might just play it with a gauntlet deck. I'm 1-1 one, one in the league so I don't expect to be able to win. Normally I would be playing Delver but I might just surprise my opponent with a gauntlet deck. Uh, no, that would be unfair to the other gauntlet decks. Uh, do I just play Delver? Let's check out if Delver it's working properly. Looks good. I had a problem. I had to take uh, Tron for the last round because I couldn't choose the Delver deck. But it looks good, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, this guy is just really angry. I think so. I'm a booty. I think that's a. Uh, a woman who sells her body for uh, money. He is timing out. Four minutes left. Here is the watch rights deck list if you want to check it out. Would like a cyborg plan. Very hard to know what to take out. But this deck will now move to round three of the Pauper Gauntlet and I will play another practice round in round two. So watch rights is a thing. Let's Google translate this. Uh, translate Google. Com. See what Goldmoon thinks. Uh, gross. Uh, I probably am not allowed to say things like that. Uh, yeah, pude means what I think it means, but gross fills the. Uh, it doesn't know. It's French. No, can't translate that. Let's translate gross fills. No, not even Google knows what it is. But it's probably not anything good. Very mature gold moon. And uh, Watch Right wins. Thank you for watching.